Tim Saunders with Todd Fedorik at Wells Fargo Center where the Flyers take on the Los Angeles Kings tonight. Our game day preview is brought to you by Power Back Rehabilitation. Big test for the Flyers against the two-time Stanley Cup champion uh, LA Kings. Two cups in the last three years. They're riding a six-game winning streak, but for the Flyers, a chance to get their third win in a row. Uh, Going to be a big test, though, against this LA club. It is, yeah, it is. LA's, they've got a good team. Um, I think Flyers benefit from knowing a lot of these players. Um, but yeah, if LA's, you know, they're riding a six game winning streak, but uh, Flyers come on of late and they've been playing well, so it's going to be a good test. Fridge, they've won two in a row in very different ways. Pittsburgh, they outchecked and outworked the Penguins. Detroit might have been lucky. They were outplayed the first two game periods of that game. Yeah, I, I think we've seen the best of, of the Flyers this year thus far against the Pittsburgh series. You know, the, those, those uh, games seem to bring out the best in both teams. and. And the Flyers especially, they play that Flyers brand of hockey against them. A lot of hitting, a lot of uh, forechecking, a lot of working. And, uh, you know, Detroit, you get the exact opposite where it's it's a little bit of a lull game. And Detroit has a tendency to lull teams in, into uh, situations like that. But we still found a way to win. And, and uh, with Emery playing the way he's playing and the team playing the way in front of him, it's going to be a nice game tonight. The Flyers getting a lot of production from their top line. Giroux, Voracek, and Michael Raffle have combined for 10 points in the last two games. What do you think about Raffle fitting in on that line? He's coming off probably his best game. Well, he had success with them last year, and he, and he fits with them. And... It's not necessarily the best player. It's the best guy that's going to have that chemistry with that line. And I think the experience that he had with him last year and him maturing as a player this year just it bodes well. They know where he's at. He's a big, strong forward, and he can get those guys the puck. The real test is going to be Couturier, Reed, and R.J. Umberger against that 70s line for L.A. That is the best line in hockey right now. It is, yeah. They've got a potent line up there. And... You know, Coots is going to have a big job tonight. He's he's a very skilled defensive player. Um, RJ the same way. He knows he knows these players. He's played against them a lot. Um, it, it's going to be a, a big test for those for that line tonight. That 70s line for LA Carter to Foley and Pearson have scored 16 of the Kings' 21 goals so far this season. Andre Kopitar is a question mark for the LA Kings. He left their last game Sunday with an upper body injury in the second period. Uh, they almost have to have him in the lineup tonight because they don't have enough healthy bodies to replace him. Yeah, this is where you're going to see a good example of, of what a cap can actually do to a team. They, <laughs> they might have to dress him. Whether he's injured or not, it depends on the seriousness, but he may have to just stay in the lineup and play a you know, a lesser role with less ice time, but uh, they, they don't have much room and they don't want to put someone on long-term IR that doesn't necessarily need to be there or... It's a little bit of finagling that the, the Kings are going to have to do to come up with the uh, lineup. The matchup in goal, Jonathan Quick has given up four goals in the last five games. He gets the call for the Kings against Ray Emery, who makes his third start in a row for Philadelphia. Game time tonight is at 7 o'clock. It'll be on Comcast Sportsnet. Or join us on the radio, Tim Saunders with Steve Coates on 97.5 The Fanatic. Our game day preview brought to you by Powerback Rehabilitation. For more information, visit PowerbackRehabilitation.com.